x times ln x is a product of an algebraic function, x, with a transcendental function, ln x. So to integrate this, we will use integration by parts, the formula for which I've written here. We'll have to select a u and a dv, and then the integral will be uv minus the integral of v du. Since we have to integrate dv to get v, we want to make sure that dv is something we can integrate. We can integrate ln x, but that gets pretty messy, so we might want to try letting dv equal x dx, and then that will leave u to equal ln x. Remember, we get to pick u and dv, but we must differentiate u to get du, and integrate dv to get v. So taking the derivative of u to get du, we will find that du is 1 over x dx. And integrating dv to get v, we'll find that v is 1 half x squared. Once we have all these pieces, it's a good time to check that the integration by parts formula is actually going to help us. When we apply integration by parts, we're going to have to integrate v times du. Let's check what is v times du. It would be this multiplied by this, and that is going to be easy to integrate. So let's proceed. So applying this formula, we have u, which is ln x, times v, which is 1 half x squared. Then we must subtract the integral of v, which is 1 half x squared, times du, which is 1 over x dx. You can see that this works pretty well, because we can take the 1 half out of the integral, that doesn't matter too much, and then x squared times 1 over x will be able to cancel out a factor of x. So that's going to leave us with this term, which we can rewrite like that, minus, we took the 1 half out, so minus 1 half, times the integral of just a single x. This was x squared, but we canceled out one of those with that 1 over x. So now it's just a single x. And now, of course, this is a very straightforward integral. The integral of x is just 1 half x squared. So from here to here, we just integrated x to replace that with 1 half x squared. And then, of course, we have to add that arbitrary constant. Then, since this has an x squared and this has an x squared, and they both have a half, we can factor 1 half x squared out of these terms. So there's 1 half x squared taken out. That just leaves ln x in that first term, and if we take a half x squared out of that second term, that just leaves minus half. And of course, we still have plus c. And that's it. The integral of x ln x using integration by parts is x squared over 2 times ln x minus a half plus c. If you like, you could have combined these terms into a single fraction, but it's kind of up to personal preference. I like this factored form. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and be sure to check out my Calculus 2 course and Calculus 2 exercises playlists in the description for more. Thanks for watching.